He sat strapped into a metal sphere on top of a missile that had blown up half the times it was tested, knowing that three separate press releases had already been written for this moment, one for success, one for a crash, and one announcing his death. The engineers had locked the controls because they were terrified he would go insane from the isolation, giving him a sealed envelope with the override code only to be opened in an emergency. But the launch wasn't the terrifying part. The return was... As he fell back to Earth, a mechanical failure caused his capsule to spin violently out of control, turning him into a human centrifuge while temperatures outside reached 5,000 degrees. Through the window, he saw flames engulfing the ship and shouted over the radio, I'm burning. Goodbye, comrades. He truly believed he was dead. Suddenly, the heat burned through the jammed cables, snapping the capsule free and stabilizing his fall. But he didn't land in the ship. At 20,000 feet, he was ejected into the freezing air, parachuting down into a potato field in rural Russia. An old peasant woman stared at the man in the orange suit and asked, Did you come from outer space? He smiled and said, As a matter of fact, I did. His name was Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space. He conquered the sky, but another man conquered an entire enemy government. To see how, watch our new series on Eli Cohen, Episode 1, and please like and subscribe.